Hello and welcome back to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayed. In today's episode, we will discuss ifs function in Excel. To follow along with me, make sure you have a copy of this workbook downloaded using the link in the video description. Please note that the ifs function is available if you have Office 2019 or if you have Microsoft 365 subscription and above. Generally, the ifs function checks whether one or more conditions are met and returns the value that corresponds to the first true condition. If the first true condition is not met, then it will go to the second condition and then it will test if the second condition is tested and comes true, then the second condition value will be returned. Let us take a close look. I will place my cursor in the benefits column. I will type in equal to and type in IFS function. As soon as I see that function, I will press tab on my keyboard to complete that function. Now the if function is asking me for the first logical test. The first test, what I want to do is I want to test this tenure. If this is greater than seven, I want to set the percentage of benefits to 10 percent comma now the second part that is if this is not true perform the second test now i go into the second test i say if the first condition is not met let's do the second test test the same area that is tenure if it is greater than say five set the percentage of benefits to seven say even this is not met maybe i will go for the third one now i will say test it again and if it is greater than 2.5 then set the percentage of benefits to five percent now, if anybody is below 2.5, what should Excel do? I will give that test as well. I will say the same cell if it is less than 2.5. If no condition is met, this is where it is going to land. Now, I say if this is less than 2.5, set it blank and then close the bracket. Now I press enter. See, by using the ifs condition, we are able to avoid the nested if statement. Also keep in mind that you can test up to 127 different conditions using the if statement. However, it is recommended that you do not put too many conditions because that will lead to confusions. All right, let's press enter on the keyboard. There we go. Since the tenure is 9.39, it is 10%. Let me drag this down and there we go. I have all my benefits set properly using the ifs function. Let us try it again on the bonus column. I will place my cursor in the bonus column, press equal to, and if the tenure is greater than seven, I want to give out the bonus 3000. And again, if the condition is, that is the tenure greater than five, I would like to give out the bonus as 2000, comma. Maybe that is not true, so let us test if it is greater than 2.5 give away the bonus as say 1000 in case if all three conditions are not met and it is less than 2.5 i would like to make it blank and press enter there we go now i will double click on this to fill all my rows so this is how we use the ifs function in excel i would request you to go ahead and practice it in the do it sheet practice as much as you can to retain this learning use your own data use this practice data but make sure that you practice to retain your learning and keep going with excel we will see you soon in the next episode if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to enable notifications thank you so much for investing your time stay happy stay lovely until next time